Hi everybody. Got another short video uh, that I hope uh, will be an, an encouragement to you and um, point us all to Jesus again. So I, I want to read a, a couple scriptures about a specific topic and also share a song with you that is related to that. And uh, the first scripture is found in John chapter 10 and verse 4. And it says this, it says, when he puts forth his own sheep, the sheep go be, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. So there's a, a real uh, teaching in this verse that the Lord goes before us. He, he sends us out daily, and uh, he's actually going before us in, a, in our path through the day. And, and I believe that means in every conversation we'll be in, every meeting we have. And uh, recently, you know, I've... I've found out again through a, a, a bad mistake that I made uh, you know we do a lot of those mistakes and uh, you hopefully learn from them and you, you do better than better the next time and uh, that's why I'm, I'm making this little video today and so that's the first scripture God goes before us Jesus goes before us I believe he wants to lead us through our day through all that we go through um, David was a man of action, a warrior, a king, and uh, obviously not a man to sit around just, you know, twiddling his thumbs, being lazy at all. He was very active. And interesting what he said in Psalm 25, verse 5. He said, Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. So he obviously wasn't just being idle by by saying that on you do I wait all the day. Uh, I believe he was sort of going through each day with sort of one hand with the Lord, letting him lead him, and then the other hand with what he was doing, the people he was with and what he was doing. He says, on thee do I wait all the day. So he was letting God lead him. That was David in the Old Testament. Um, one more scripture, and it's found in Psalm 39. And we turn there, Psalms 39, verse 1. And I, I just read this the other day in a little uh, devotional book by Chuck Swindoll, which I really like. In uh, Psalm 39 and verse 1. Here we are. I said, I will take heed to my ways that I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle while the wicked is before me. You know, the wicked is always before us. Uh, Satan's always ready to tempt us, get us in a hurry, um, you know, cause us to maybe jump to conclusions, jump in on somebody before we actually listen to what they have to say. Um, that's, that's where I make a lot of mistakes. I, I'm just too hasty, too impulsive that way. And, you know, I just need to listen better and let people... Um, express themselves and make sure that I understand if I'm going to say anything at all. So I want to share a little song with you by uh, a brother by the name of John G. Elliott. And this song is called It Is Better to Wait by John G. Elliott. <laughs> It is better to wait on the Lord God Almighty and put your trust fully in Him. It is better to wait for His wisdom and timing than lean on what you understand. Because we have a Father who sees from above. He knows when we have been tested enough he works together all things on behalf of the children that he dearly loves so take heart be strong though his ways may seem long it is better to wait better to wait on the lord
provision from heaven and to anxiously forge on ahead. It is wise to give up any idol we treasure and strive for contentment instead. Cause we have a Father who sees from above. He knows when we have been tested enough. He works together all things on behalf of the children that He dearly loves. So take heart, be strong, though His ways may seem long. It is better to wait, better to wait on the Lord. Cause we have a Father who sees from above. He knows when we have been tested enough. He works together all things on behalf of the children that He dearly loves. So take heart, be strong, though His ways may seem long. It is better to wait, better to wait on the Lord. It's much better to wait, better to wait on the Lord. Amen. Always better to, to wait on the Lord. Recently, uh, somebody said this or wrote this. I don't know who the author of this quote was, but I, I'm i glad I memorized it and I hope that I can follow it better. It's worth writing down. Here it comes. If you are right, but you are wrong in the way that you're right, then you're wrong even if you're right. Let me say it again. If you're right, but you're wrong in the way that you're right, then you're wrong, even if you are right. You know, how many times have we expressed something that maybe had a lot of truth in it, had a good point, but we didn't say it the right way. We didn't say it with love. We weren't being patient, kind. Maybe we were being arrogant, condescending, downright mean. You know, I got that t-shirt. Some of you do too. So, it's a good quote. I want to read another one. This is from uh, Chuck Swindoll. Again, I really appreciate Chuck Swindoll. I encourage you to look him up on YouTube. This is from his little uh, devotional uh, that I find really good a lot of times. Five minutes. Uh, five meaningful minutes a day. There it is. Here it is, May 4th. I said, I will guard my ways that I may not sin with my tongue. I will guard my mouth as with a muzzle. That's Psalm 39, verse 1. That's what it takes, friends and neighbors, a conscious tight muzzle on the muscle in your mouth. With emphasis on conscious. To accomplish that disciplined objective, I offer these three suggestions. Think first, talk less, Start today. And then he closes with Matthew 15, 18. The things that proceed out of the mouth come from the heart. So, you know, I hope we all learn from, you know, mistakes that we've made. We've jumped to conclusions. We've answered somebody before we really heard what they had to say. And uh, God bless you. God loves you. And I hope you have a great day. The Lord's going before you. And he will lead us through our day, including our conversations. God bless you.